Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to entitle this at this particular moment of taping, but uh, it's going to be something of follow up to some of the issues that needed to be resolved as far as purchasing certain items. And I think I mentioned, I'll leave a link down here. I got this hideous thing. I won't even call it a guitar from a uh, sell off for reverb and what initially drew me to it the unique turtle short turtle short shell color you know but when it got here it looked like as one of my subscribers uh put it like somebody you took a paintbrush to paint that thing it's still a little sanded and polishing it off i'm like yeah that's what it looks like it was awful you know and then it wasn't even playable so uh i sent it back or well, first I re requested a refund and he denied it. Because there's some people that you t on reverb that they think that they're in control. It's like, no, you're not. Especially when you trying to pawn off garbage. So he denied it. So I contacted reverb and they finally got it resolved. They told me to ship it back, which I did. And he got it last Thursday and they refunded my money back on my credit card today. So that's over. That nightmare is over. I mean, it was just ridiculous. It's like, uh, it was awful. It's like, come on, man. You know? So, and he fought that two for nail to the end. Because what they told me to do, they told me to, they reset it. Because when I requested the refund, he denied it. So they reset it and they said, go ahead and request a refund again. He still ignored it. This time he just didn't even, you know, uh, acknowledge that, uh, okay, uh, we're going to, you know, you're going to get your money back. He just refused to be responsible and participate in doing the right thing. So Reverb had to force his hand. And I'm very appreciative of what Reverb did as far as coming in and stepping in and resolving this. Because uh, the guitar wasn't even playable. It was hideous when it came. It was extremely poorly designed. This guy's by no means a builder. And he claimed this to be a builder, which was a joke. You know, so thank God that kicked that was resolved. So I'm in the process of... Sorry about that. I'm in the process of having the guitar built from the ground up. You know, uh, I selected the body, the color of the body, the neck, the pickups, everything. And my good friend, Mr. Keeley, is taking care of that. Shout out to Dave. So uh, the body I seen on you on, Re on Reverb, I'm like, this is the color that I want. It's hard to find this color. So I'm going to give you a visual. So, it was just the body. Then the pickup was out. You know, for some reason, they uh, cut the wires, and this was removable. And what was kind of questionable was there was this tape around the pickguard. And I asked the guy, I said, why is that tape there? And uh, he really didn't explain why. He just said he had peeled it off before he sent it to me. So when the guitar came, I understood why the, the tape was there. There's some people that think you're stupid. I mean, they just think that they can pull a fast one and you don't kind of see where they're going with this. Because, again, there was tape around him. Like, it looked like the kind of tape that you, when you painted the body or something. and they, I'm like, oh, that makes sense. But I don't think he painted this body. This is a factory issue paint job. So why is this tape around here? So when the tape, so when the, the body came. And again, what uh, drew me to this particular body was the color. Because I'm like, I'm looking for this color, and it's hard to find this color. So when it came, because he, he did say he'd take the tape off, but he never explained why the tape was there. So when it came and the tape was off, and I still don't understand this. When it came and the tape was off, and this, of course, was removable, there was a whole bunch of drill holes. There had to have been at least 100 of them. And I'm like, why did th this dude drill these holes in the in the cavity of the body? And I'm like, well, that's fine, providing that when I line up the pit guard, that those holes don't show. And the hole shows around there. There's no way of getting around positioning the pit guard that you don't see those drill holes. And I still don't understand why those drill holes was put in there. You know, so... Uh, I gave him the appropriate feedback because I'm like, I'm at this point. I'm tired of dealing with people that think they 
trying to screw you, you know, that you don't realize that they're doing something underhanded, not being honest, because there was no mention of those drill holes in the description. And I still don't understand why all those drill holes were in the in the body, you know, and then they kind of spilled out along the side of, of the, the body that the pig guard won't cover, because, again, if the pig guard covered them completely, I don't care. Provided it doesn't affect the playability of the guitar. So I gave him appropriate feedback, you know. I don't take any comfort in giving anybody anything negative, but when you deserve it, you're going to get it. It's just that simple. Because, again, if he would explain to me, well, this is why we did this and uh, it's not covering all of, uh, not covering the entire thing, I would have opted to just uh, decline the bag. Because I'm like, I don't want... A guitar that you see damn drill holes on the side, you know. So uh, for the last four days or three days, he's been messaging me. Now I'm like, we have nothing to talk about. The deal has been done, and you got what you deserve as far as feedback, you know. And I'm like, I don't know why you feel that you want to have dialogue now, cause it's too late. You know that ship has sailed and it's not returning, you know. So uh, I don't know what that's about. You know, I'm like, I don't have anything else to say to you. I'm not happy about the fact that you, all those damn drill holes and they don't totally cover, the, uh, cover it up with the pig guard, you know. So now I'm have to put stickers or something along the side. And I'm not happy about that because, uh, like I said, I'm having this guitar, you know, uh, built from the, from the nickel, you know, from, uh, from the ground up. And uh, that's not going to be super inexpensive, you know. But now I'm going to have these drill holes on the side. As if, th as if this is a raggedy guitar. So uh, I guess that's all I got to say on that topic. You know, as far as I got that resolved, that big hideous guitar. You know, he got his guitar back last Thursday because he, he actually honestly thought that he wasn't going to give me my money back. And uh, he was going to keep my money. I'm like, uh, I'm not keeping this guitar. I can't even give this guitar away because it's not even playable. I wouldn't end up just having to throw this guitar in the garbage where it belongs. And lose out on almost $200, you know. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. You know, uh, I really do appreciate the, the support staff at uh, Reverb and eBay. You know, eBay try to do the right thing, too. They try to protect the buyer. And the buyer is the most vulnerable out of the two. So I understand now that they do have a little more... Uh, partial or partialness towards the buyer because in any given day you can spend your money and not get what you pay for so i totally understand that so until next time take care and thanks for watching